We've got a classic rooftop 1v1 on our hands right now. We got to face off against the Hoplite, which I still think is probably one of the most well-rounded units in the game. You know, it's got a shield that protects it from knee to forehead and a very long weapon, and I can't really afford anything again. I looked through all of the units. For 180, I can't get anything new or exciting or much of anything at all. I'm thinking I just want to try a rock thrower. Seems stupid to put a guy in a loincloth with feathers on his head against a guy with <laughs> bronze armor and a helmet on his head. But at the same time, you might be able to peg him with that rock. That's a big rock. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game that makes you think about all of life's hard-hitting questions. Like, what do you call a giant-sized halfling? Would it be a one-ling? A full-ling? A whole-ling? I guess it doesn't really matter, considering the last one just went extinct, but... I said they were hard-hitting, not that they were important. Nothing you see on this channel is important. So when we last left off, we took a look at what's pretty much Tabs 2.0. Like this mod has not only changed a bunch of the units and factions that have always been here, but it's also added a bunch of new units and factions. And then because of that, there's just so much to see and do that I think we only got through a little bit of it. We saw the tribal faction, we saw the bronze faction, and the ancient faction, which means we've probably done little to nothing with the new dynasty, and I'm definitely seeing some units that I recognize here, like the Emperor. Right, I'm pretty sure the Emperor is just enough money for me to be able to put into this level, okay. This is the adventure campaign, I should probably mention that. This is where we go to test new cool units versus the old vanilla units. And I kind of feel bad for them here because like I was about to say, I'm pretty sure the Emperor is the one who disappears and then reappears behind you, tells you it's nothing personal, kid, and then Katana's your butthole. Katana is a verb, right? It is now. When it comes to buttholes, you can definitely Katana a butthole, as we will see. I mean, I didn't think shields would do a whole lot here, but maybe I'm mistaken? I'm willing to bet nobody has tried to paddle a mecha samurai before. Maybe that's his weakness. Oh, hey, don't, don't go in the water. No, no. I don't think he can swim. Please tell me he could, oh, maybe he could swim. Come on, just ninja vanish, butt back up on the shore. No, no. <laughs> Is he good? I think it's hard to tell. He's so fast that even I can't follow him. He's like a friggin' Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. I can't believe we lost to a bunch of shields. How about we try a unit that can't get short-circuited? We probably don't want one big unit here. It's just too easy to get swept away in that river. So what if we go to the opposite end of the spectrum and try nunchucks? I feel like I took a quick look at the nunchucks last time, but I want to see them again because nunchucks are sweet. You could definitely beat shields with nunchucks. You could beat anything with nunchucks. Michelangelo knows, come on. You guys got this, please. Oh my god, there's so many of them. And they have a king. This is actually a really unfair level. There's no way that these two armies are valued the exact same. I refuse to believe that their army costs 4,000 or 3,000 or whatever I get to spend. Ooh, come on. You guys got this. Just, just keep swinging around behind them. <laughs> These stupid shields, I hate them so much. There you go, take down the king. Take down the king. You're not actually swinging the nunchucks, you're just kind of humping at people. Like, the nunchucks are a side effect. They get flailed around it, they hit something, it doesn't really matter, but they're kind of backflipping and humping. Is 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 that what a, a nunchucker does? A, a nunchucky? I don't know. Oh, he's dead. <gasps> Great. Well, once again, I find myself regretting using the Dynasty faction because they seem really inclined to go for a swim off the edge of the world. Do you think they fall off the world there? They probably just get crushed by the wheel, to be perfectly honest. Who's left? One. He's hanging out in the briar patch. <laughs> Come on now, Peter Cottontail. The last thing we need is a circumcision from a claymore. Can you please, please just take him out? You got this. I fully believe in you. Just use the power of the pumpkin. No, don't backflip off the edge of the map. If you can keep dodging him, then we might be in the clear. I didn't realize that he's excellent at dodging attacks. He doesn't seem to be really doing any damage, but it's... Only a matter of time until somebody lands a blow. Oh my god. I really wanted to start this episode off on a high note, but I guess 
if we can't go high, then maybe we can go wide with the sumo unit who I can only afford four of. Like, I guess in all reality, I could be putting in other stuff. Like, there's nothing stopping me from dropping a couple samurai as well to help with the level, but I just want to try out all the new modded units. I don't really care about winning all that much. <laughs> so what does the samurai do other than eat too much? It doesn't really, oh, it grabs, okay. So it's big enough to grab units and toss them around. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for some belly punches. Like, he should be the one humping. The nunchucks shouldn't be humping. The samurai should be humping. Holy crap, no, ne never mind. don't hump. I was gonna say you're doing fine. Don't listen to me, but <laughs> wearing nothing but a giant diaper against a sword is probably not a great strategy. We still have stuff like the Naginata and the Ronin, the Mushashi and Kicking Jin, but again, they're all big units. I can only afford one or two of them. They get swarmed, they get pushed into the river, or they get swept off the map. I can't keep doing this over and over again. So maybe the Vikings will have something a little cheaper? Okay. What if we try a Warhorn? I've been kind of underwhelmed with everything in this game that uses wind as an attack, but at the same time, I don't think a shield can protect against loud noises. At least I'd be surprised if that was the case. Wait, are you guys freezing them? They are freezing. Okay, that's actually awesome. <laughs> so they use freezing wind. Wow, that's actually really overpowered. It's an instant freeze, and then he blows them over, and then they kiss in celebration? What's going on here? I mean, I'm not looking to judge your culture. Did you guys get your horns locked together? Oh, there's probably, like, somebody stuck under here? No? Uh, what are we doing, guys? Are, are you guys, like, pillaging your at last enemy? No, leave, leave the butthole alone. What is happening right now? Guys, don't get me wrong, I'm happy too. That was a frustrating level, but at the same time, I can't move on to the next level until you finish up celebrating and docking and smooching or whatever it is, so you kind of forced me to do this. Can, can y'all like spread out just a touch? Just, just, just a little, there we go. That, that's, the, that's the good stuff. Oh, that guy's still alive. He was just too frozen to move forward. We didn't really care to go after him. Okay, either way, that's a win. I'm taking it. If you have to infer gravity over now and then, that's not cheating. You see, this is a much better level to try some big units on, because apparently the local military budget went largely to priests? It's like going to war and sending one soldier, one gun, and a hundred medics. <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. I'm just thinking it's a little silly. Maybe we can now try... Ooh, kicking Jin's a little expensive. How about we go with Mushashi? He reminds me of Geralt. I, he's even got two swords. Maybe one is silver, maybe one is steel, maybe he'll say damn it a whole lot and beat the living crap out of everything that moves. <laughs> Just avoid the one guy with the sword. That's all you really need to worry about. You're also another big dude. A lot of these modded units are very large in stature. Probably because their weapons are kind of big, I guess. If they were the size of a halfling and they were walking around single fisting katanas like that, then they would probably just drag them along the ground. They wouldn't be able to move at all. Is this guy gonna be like borderline invincible? Like, you really need to take out the healers first. This is typical like wow raid boss strategy here. Get all of the ads and then go after your main target. Otherwise, you're, you're not really doing damage. At least I don't think you are. Priests are just lined up like bowling balls. Come on, dude. Focus. Or not. This game just loves proving me wrong. He went straight for the raid boss, took him out right off the bat, and now he's pretty much a lawnmower. There's nothing really stopping him from just cutting down the grass. Come on, dude, just just one at a time. There's no way you can keep missing. Okay, there's only a, a small pocket left. Just one little bit. Swing, swing. He's such a derpy unit. It feels like half of the blows he's throwing don't land. They don't do anything. Like, for 1,800 bucks, I would expect a whole lot more focus. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say it again. You may have actually won here, but I'm still the Mr. Miyagi of this situation. What I say goes.
<laughs> you remain a disappointment who I will probably never return to. Especially if you keep wasting my damn time. Just, just go, go. Just take a little off the top. And I'm not talking about hair because they're already missing that. Well, isn't that just cute? All of the Tabs 1.0 factions are now joining together in an attempt to stop Tabs 2.0. But it's not gonna work because you've unfortunately given me just enough money to try the Emperor again. <laughs> Except, I don't want that one. That one's got his sword behind his back. There we go. <laughs> Can't wait to see what he's gonna do against a couple of large units. He just one-shot that Harvester. Okay, the Harvester's a pretty tough melee unit. <laughs> it's so cool to see the enemy blade swing through the cloud that used to be you. It's so well-timed. Come on, you got this. There you go. Oh, yeah, he's making the mistake that you made. It's impressive, you gotta say. Not the greatest against swarms, but man, oh, man, it is such a freaking cool unit. Well, it looks like, once again, we've been challenged to another rooftop 1v1, and I can't say no to that, but at the same time, I don't know if I can actually afford anything. A squire is real cheap, and I don't want to use something from Tabs 1.0. It's clearly got to be a new unit. Oh, the peasant is back. Okay, let's try the medieval faction's peasant. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. You're literally one step below the swordsman, or the squire, or whatever you want to call him. You're not wearing armor, or you don't have a weapon. You just got kind of a... a bag on your head. Speaking of bag, that looks like it hurt. I'm gonna give the peasant credit. He went balls to the walls there. Not a great analogy, but he tried to drop kick him in the head. It was close. I kind of want to see if he'll actually manage to pull it off. He throws that kick. Holy crap. What, what are these ninja moves? You're supposed to be some, like, dirty street urchin, but instead you, you just, like, did some kind of jumping spin back kick and then drop kicked him off the roof. Look at what's left of this idiot. Like, I don't even think the ninjas could pull this off. That was amazing. I guess that means we're moving on to the medieval faction all of a sudden. I, I look back at the old ones, and there's nothing that's cheap enough for me to really use here, but I can afford a couple of flailers. Got some kind of mace or morning star or something like that. It's pretty much just gonna be glorified whack-a-mole, but I am all for it because, oh yeah, you, <laughs> they notice that, oh, they they might not be with us. They all about face and run to their deaths, I would assume, right? They are like strange little lemmings. Some of them try to hide in the bushes. They don't hide well, but <laughs> he just got smushed. You don't even really see them get hit. They just cut. Oh no, that one, that one got hit. Yep, he got hit. Did he come back down? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm impressed so far. They spin, so you might be able to turn them into tornadoes. They definitely got quite a punch behind those swings, but they're having a hard time catching anything. They're a little slow. Yeah. Both physically and mentally. Uh, that one's gonna be out of the arena for a while, I think. Yeah, just just get him cornered. Get him pinned. There you go. And then you can just kind of tickle him. Tickle him with those spikes. <laughs> Where are you going? God, I hate these units so much. I mean, I, I love that they're different. They're unique. There's something interesting that's added to the game that's unlike anything else, but facing them is just the absolute worst. Just die! <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can attack, too. There is an attack for the bard, but... They, uh, they rarely use it. Probably because hitting somebody with your banjo doesn't seem all that useful. <laughs> How many do we have left? It doesn't even matter. Because you're just going to Blair Witch in the corner. Right? You're not going to get up over that chest high ledge, so this is a loss? I'm going to consider this a victory. This, there's no way you lose this. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about facing off against a bunch of catapults at extremely long distance. Like, they're the opposite side of the map. We have a lot of ground to cover here. Maybe we have something that's fast? Let me guess, I, I can't afford Odin, of course. Or Thor, come on! I can get a bunch of... Knungers? Or... Degans? Sure, why not? That's a big axe. And... That's a very spinny axe. Okay, yeah, let's try you guys. Maybe you shouldn't stand too close to one another. Uh, spinny axes are down. It's up to you now, chief. Holy crap. Um, 
yeah, not the time or place for that, but very interesting that that giant axe insta-freezes stuff. We're gonna have to return to those. Again, we need something that's cheap and small and plentiful, but they didn't give me a lot of cool stuff that fits that description. We could use peasants, but we already saw how they dropkick people inside out. Oh, right. The pirate faction has a cutlass now. I remember, I really like this because the pirate faction has so many ranged units, whereas most factions have like no ranged units. <laughs> really frustrating stuff, but when you have only ranged units, you have nothing to hide behind. Like, you absolutely need a cutlass. I don't know why this isn't a part of Tab's 1.0. Like it should be part of the regular game. But now, just having a bunch of swords rush in there, we're gonna lose a few, okay? It's uh, unavoidable, but <laughs> they are certainly expendable so long as they hurry up. Okay, yeah, those rocks are growing back, guys. Growing back. We're also shooting each other for whatever reason. Oh, those are real strong cutlasses too. Yeah, this single hit. I'd like the one hitter quitter. We could definitely use more like that. We've got $5,500 and I have no idea what's hiding in that cave, but I would imagine it's not gonna be snuffy. Right, he's way too thick with all the C's to fit in there, so. It's probably gonna be a bunch of little units, in which case I kinda wanna try the spinny axes. We didn't get the chance to appreciate their majesty last time. <laughs> Maybe we should back him up with something. How about a uh, couple of Huskari? Sure, they just kinda look like regular old units. Yeah, they got a shield, they got a very long sword. Cool. They're, they're pushing over my own units. Okay, calm down, guys. You don't need to be that excited to get to battle. They'll come out to you. These are super excessive, yet hilariously interesting. What are you guys gonna do with your fuzzy armpits and your helicopter axes? Do you just walk into people? Oh, that wasn't you. That was the shamans in the back. That was a little friendly fire on their part. I can't even really tell. They just spend more time falling over than they do hitting stuff. Oh, ooh, they can take a punch, that's for sure. And by a punch, I mean a spear to the balls. Ooh, mm, that's a puncture to the balls. Take that, and a rock. Hey, they're really tough. Oh, mm, come on, I just wanna see you guys hurt things. <laughs> you're, you're so cool. Man, all right, well, we got one stuck in the grass over here. Can you really not stand up? It's like a helicopter stuck on its side. <laughs> No, no, you're gonna get crushed. Oh, there we go, back up in action. We don't got this. They got way too many ranged units all lined up. It's such an aesthetically cool unit, but it just doesn't do anything. I mean, if you consider this something, that it's doing something, but it, it, it's not doing anything for me. I'm still just a little short on being able to summon Odin or Thor or something big and flashy, but we could go with something like the Pirate King We've had a queen for a long time. We haven't had a king. We could also get Redbeard. I don't even know what Redbeard is. Oh, Redbeard is a walking fireball. Wait, what? I still have so much money left over that I gotta use something else, right? Uh, let's just put down bomb fists way in the back <laughs> because a bomb fist sounds amazing, and b I really don't want you blowing up or blowing up on whatever red beard is. What am I even looking at right now? Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Blackbeard, but fiery and without kneecaps, I guess. Uh, ooh, watch, watch, watch the fire, watch, that's what you want to do, avoid. Why do you guys gotta be rushing into battle and where are the bombs for your bomb fisting? Oh. They just kind of dive in and explode. Well, wasn't that disappointing? Could you maybe come over here and start igniting stuff? Okay. I mean, there's definitely a unit under there. It does look like it's just Blackbeard, but with chains and... Holy crap, okay. Uh, that was effective. <laughs> Instantly incinerated everything. It's just a, a blur to look at. We've got a classic rooftop 1v1 on our hands right now. We gotta face off against the Hoplite, which I still think is probably one of the most well-rounded units in the game. You know, it's got a shield that protects it from knee to forehead and a very long weapon, and I can't really afford anything again. I looked through all of the units. For 180, I can't get anything new or exciting or much of anything at all. I'm thinking I just wanna try a rock thrower. 
Seems stupid to put a guy in a loincloth with feathers on his head against a guy with <laughs> bronze armor and a helmet on his head. At the same time, you might be able to peg him with that rock. That's a big rock. Not only am I once again severely disappointed that I can't summon a god, but I'm also clearly missing something. Like, there's no way they gave us $4,000 to face off against five squires. There's something else that's gonna happen. So, how about we try out the new crossbowman, who is apparently wielding a small ballista? I don't think you can call that a crossbow. That is a little bit hefty. It seems like it'd be a good idea. Oh, oh, okay, I've got regrets. I've got some regrets. No, never mind, I don't have any regrets. Apparently this is a one-shot kill and they fire real quick. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> you guys have funny little hats as well. What a great unit. Are they melee fighters? No, they don't need to melee fight. They never get close enough. That is actually a really sweet unit. I, I still think the crossbow should be like half that size, but <laughs> it works. This isn't exactly the scenario I had in mind for the gods, but you know, when life gives you lemons, you summon Thor to face off against a bunch of beautiful bouncing snuffies. I, I could use more, but in all reality, we've got Thor. Come on, Thor, you got this. It's, it's just snuffy, holy crap, okay. So he's got red lightning now, probably because he's on the red team, and he can pretty much two shot a snuffy. That is so much lightning. <laughs> and that would be why I felt like we didn't need anything else. <gasps> wow. So you look about the same, but the effects are really ramped up. Well, if Thor can pull it off, then I would imagine Odin can do it, right? Like father, like son? <laughs> Except Odin seems to not be wearing any clothes. He's the type to run into battle naked, I suppose. <gasps> oh no, never mind. There, he's, he's got a cape somewhere. Every now and then, whoa, oh right! He makes the giant arrows or, or spears fall from the sky and they freeze, except Snuffy doesn't care all that much about freezing. That's your big problem. Snuffy is pretty resilient to cold. It's kind of his thing in all reality, but electricity not so much. So you don't have type advantage here, Odin, which is why you are gonna get held down lightly. I would imagine, I don't think you're actually taking any damage. I get the feeling Snuffy is just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> it definitely looks like it hurts. Okay, yep. I think he squeaked through there. Not gonna lie, Odin may have come close to dying. If the enemy's not gonna give me some kind of indication of how many of them are out there, then I'm just gonna say screw it and go with a couple of kicking gins. I feel like we've seen kicking gin before, but every time there's an update, Things change quite a bit. Now he's got much longer legs, and he's much more floaty. Seems to be having a hard time doing any kicking, though. <laughs> These wheelbarrows are lively, to say the least. Come on, now, just just kick kick something. Are you, what are you dancing, floating, Jin? Are you kicking, Jin? Come on, now. <gasps> I get the feeling this is gonna end in a stupidity stalemate. This game does that quite often, but. Man, I was, I was really hoping for you to kick giant steroid Bob Ross in his chiseled chin. Apparently not so much. <laughs> you died to an apple. I didn't want to have to do it to you guys, but you forced my hand. I'm gonna have to call in the Gandalfs. <laughs> All four of them. Like Probably the most impressive unit I've seen so far because they don't use tabs abilities like other units. They use debug mode abilities. You're not supposed to be able to do that. I'm the only one who can do that. It's just a shockwave that insta-kills everything that comes near them. I've never seen a unit kill Gandalf. It, it just dawned on me. I've never seen one of them come close. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And once again, I don't think I've seen everything that this mod has to offer. I'm pretty sure there are more units in the secret units. There's an entire modern faction with a bunch of real weird stuff in that, as well as a bunch of stuff that was just scattered about the factions that I did take a look at, but they were too expensive or they didn't really fit or I didn't have time. But next episode, I think I'm going to bring it to the sandbox. That way we can do whatever we want or whatever you guys want. You know, leave a comment, leave a recommendation, leave a like on the video, and I'll return soon to have Gandalf blow more dudes. That wasn't supposed to end on some kind of wizardly BJ joke, but here we are. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.